Hello and welcome to today's video everybody. Uh, smash that subscribe button to start off this video and leave a like if you think you're going to enjoy it uh, because thinking is all that you have left right now. This is a prank video. <laughs> the prank is that you're going to see some of the best pranks of all time and I am going to be telling you some of the things that I think about these pranks. Whammy, dude, let's get right into the freaking prank videos. Waste no time. What in the... Man can prank on this guy's blind husband. This seems ultra cruel and unusual. <laughs> what in the actual hell? Dude, this has to be one of the most cruel pranks of all time. Alright, just for a second, think about how this guy is putting his all into this story right now. And instead of paying attention to the story, this guy is preparing the one prank that he has. has been cooking up to bamboozle this guy. That is already hurting my soul. <laughs> I was in the middle. It was like this dog's spoiling the prank right here. Like in the Wizard of Oz, like we were like gallivanting down the street, and they, and then a tree comes along. They go on either side of the tree, and I hit the tree. Wow. This dude's literally talking about how he's blind right now. <laughs> Apparently, he's not that blind. He just can't see very far. All right, he, he's laughing pretty hard. He's he had no idea that that was a mannequin for quite a while, but he could tell it was it was a lot more unnatural. What pose was he starting at? He's gripping the table, leaning back, and the mannequin is hands under the table, easily easy. That's so. It's a different person. Oh, the the point where he sees it is pretty great. But I hope that he never trusts this guy ever again with a genuinely good story about being blind horrible the this prank's execution was on point though dude dude really waited till his back was turned you can see that his eyes were his eyes were never never leaving this dude doing dishes turns around stays turned around for one two three you need to go faster five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven. This is a really long time. Twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen seconds. Sixteen seconds, and the second that he's done, this guy turns around. That's pretty hysterical. Your, his his timing was impeccable. D did he see it happen? No. PC got down into the the hiding position as soon as possible, but the dog gave him the f away. He's like, why is the dog running around over there? He, he had solid eye contact with the mannequin. Great execution, same outfit. That makes it even more possible that this was easy. This was real. This was a real prank. This is not a fake stage prank. I'm gonna rate this prank 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10 prank, because if that happened to, to me, if I was blind, dude, I would feel so betrayed and also dang that was funny but the, the laughter was genuine didn't make me feel bad next gash dang prank uh, asking the man to take her out to dinner she wanted some help this guy's got money he's got the mortal combat Short man game. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was good. That got me because I thought there was gonna be way more to the prank. Did dude really not realize that that was that was incredible execution? He should have been more shocked. This man is unscarable. He went into flight mode though. <laughs> oh, that was insane, dude. That was, I would not recommend this prank for any child under the age of four who might have suffocated in that bag. It's like they took the vacuum and like 
brought out all the air. She's already losing the oxygen. She's like, hurry, hurry. That gal might be passed out completely by the time we get there. We need to administer CPR. Uh, the reaction, wow, it was freaking stellar. The commitment here to the timing, frame for frame. He was not scared until he saw her face. <laughs> oh, this guy is really afraid of this smiling lady? Wow. That is hysterical. Uh, this guy is never going to take out the trash ever again. That's what you're doing here, is you're terrifying this man to doing his one duty in life. He's like, why is the trash down here? Now you can just throw the trash bag at him to prove that it is trash. That was... We're gonna rate that prank 5 out of 10 because I feel my ox, myself losing oxygen as, as we speak. Next guesting video, pranking a redhead. Going in mom's back door. Is that Homelander? Everybody is just annoyed by this. This is a crazy prank, dude. Don't know where the, I don't know where the keys are from. No. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm just getting off it. I'm at Sipina Square now. Why is everybody now going to be more afraid to take the bus than they ever have been after listening to that? Uh, if I was on that bus, dude, I would be getting up and be like, Hey man, do you need me to do you need me to tell your mom about this? Do you need me? I can call, I can get another line out there so we can get this situation solved. All these people are out here avoiding it completely. This guy's like, what a good break, bro. <laughs> what a good break. I would not be smiling. I would be just as pissed off as this lady. She's like, shut the, I just got up. Work. Uh, this is just going to make people trust public transportation less. Finally, he's getting off. Did this guy hit the galaxy gas a little bit too hard? What is going on with his voice, dude? I've had it with these people who think it's funny to be annoying in public. You, sir. You, sir, are being heckin' annoying in public. Look at your shoes. Look at your busted shoes. If I saw this guy in public, I'd say, Man, your shoes suck. Get out of the... Get out of the handicapped spot. Anyways... Uh, people are going to be less likely to be able to get onto the public handicap platform and to be able to ride the bus after this. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, this prank was kind of funny though because uh, <laughs> just like his ability to keep that voice in contact is is absolutely hysterical and it would it would make me crack up uh, I would not be able to with the straight face be able to make fun of this man's shoes I'd have to apologize I'd say actually that was hilarious because so your voice is audible tones that does not represent your actual size and you were you were pretending to be a kid which is terribly scary and also funny at the same time so I guess you you should be investigated. I would like to see your phone. <laughs> I'm going to give your phone and its pictures to the police, sir. And then I would break the phone and then I would yeah, throw it back at him. Yeah. Anyways, next cash tank video. Alright. <laughs> Talking to an imaginary friend. Where?
<laughs> I promise there's something wrong with you. You're literally talking to yourself. That's even funnier. They should say, telling myself, can, talking to my imaginary friend to get myself up to have a reaction. That's pretty funny, though. You'd be like, I would just sit there and be like, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, he's losing it. <laughs> I'm going to report this guy to the hospital. And then he's going to get kidnapped, and then I'll be able to change the name of my Dick Duck channel to self pranks <laughs> uh, it would be even funnier if you like edited somebody in there and then the whole audience thought that Carl was real and Carl's just like chilling there like why does this guy not see me or they convince somebody that he doesn't exist you know get a fr another friend you know don't just hang out with your brother is what I'm trying to say people are going to be less likely to admit they ha have Imaginary friends after this. It's absolutely sad. If you have something following behind you all the time, you're schizophrenic and you need help. Uh, that's not a friend. Alright. <laughs> this prank was executed in a parking lot. At, it looks like outside their trailer park house for TikTok. I think that's worthy of a, of a 7 out of 10. Mobile homes, my guy. You can live wherever you want, you know? So... Why did you have to film it right outside your house? You couldn't have gone to any more of a picturesque place. <laughs> uh, very funny. Uh, their acting was a solid 4 out of 10. I really didn't buy it at all. I think that on its own merits this a down vote, but you can't do that on TikTok, so... Rip the family name for them. Next gash dang video. Why are these all muted? Next gosh dang video. I'm gonna drive through a car wash with my windows down and roof off. Why? If you guys can hit my live goal. What's so your live, live goal? goal did he do it though? Alright, well, did he do it? This was a while ago. Did he do it? Did he go through the wash with the guy? It looks like he pranked us. My wife is gonna make me paint my Alex. My wife is gonna make me paint my Jeep purple. It's Jeep. I this guy's just lying. He's just lying to everybody. You're a blatant liar, guy. You didn't make the going through the wash video. I would see it here. What? You suck. You suck, Quinn Pratt. You hit the live goal. So yesterday, the police will be over. What? So yesterday, I caught a couple of people keying the mouth. That you would cover. Well, this guy's like doxing himself. will be over at my neighbor Karen's house shortly. Why? Can't handle. Let's see how creative. Let's see how creative Karen gets now. Karen is taking this neighbor war fucking. I knew it was you. I'm standing in my front yard listening to their conversation. Um, according to HOA and city laws, you cannot have a fire unless it is in the pit in the So he didn't have a fire pit. Round. So obviously he's in clear violation. The fireman looks at her and says, ma'am, you do realize we know that this is now the third time you've been to write you a site courses. Get fucked. An uncontained. So this guy had an uncontained fire in his backyard and he, he won the Karen War. Wow, that got him 33 million views. It's pretty sick. Uh, hating on a Karen is fun. That was pretty funny, dude. If you are violating fire laws and you don't want to deal with the city, just move out to the trailer park. <laughs> like the twin pranks. Uh, did you take... This dude fucking lied, though. He decided not to take his Jeep through the car wash. Do whoever stole what they thought was a brand new TV in box? Uh, okay, well, this guy just has a lot of problems. Apparently, he gets robbed all the time. Who, to whoever robbed me, probably myself, I'm coming after you. Alright, well here's the one where he says he's going to take it through the car wash. Did you not hit the live so goal? you guys remember how I said, hey, if you hit my live goal, I'm yep. going to take off my doors and the roof to no. my Jeep, yep. and I'm going to go through a car wash. Yep. Well, I thought I made it impossible for you guys to Did do he? Oh, there, there we, we go. Well, All right, let's and then see. I went on live for the first time today, and guess what? Did They've you do already it? completed half of the goal. Which resort Half of the goal. Shaving off my beard. Shave. I'm. Did, so, he looks like a completely different person. Right there. All right, what? 
Are you gonna do it? Oh my god. It is unreal. I feel scammed. I feel like this guy scammed the entire community. Alright, well. Uh, this guy sucks. He took his profile picture down <laughs> for some reason. You suck, guy. I thought that was gonna be a real prank, but instead you just got bullied by a Karen because you can't stick up for yourself to grown adults. Uh, maybe pick up your stuff and move. I don't know. If I was dealing with a Karen in that kind of situation, I would just keep talking uh, to the authorities that she sends to my house and keep burning a lot of firewood, burn all the firewood. Make her afraid that her everything will catch on fire, but it's still in a fire pit or whatever. Yeah. You know. Apparently, he gets to push the limits. All right, next cash thing video. Brother mode. Brother mode. Good mail. What you doing? Good chilling. Chilling. Good mail. Well, chilling means you ain't doing nothing. I need your help with something. What's up? What you need? Talk to me. I need help with cleaning out my storage shed. I got a lot of stuff in there I need. Oh, help. he's falling asleep. Dude, your mom has raised you and done a lot for you. Obviously, she is, loves you. Help her. Me. You're me. Uh, 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 he's acting. No. Oh, he's a bully in his mom. Bait! It done froze on me. Don't get How did he freaking get this recorded? Hey, Caleb. What you doing? I'm sitting up here trying. Wait a minute! Sebastian, you hear me? Ain't nothing wrong with my phone. <laughs> what was wrong? Sebastian, I need your help. Don't be trying to play no trick with me. <laughs> Yo, my phone ain't froze. Ain't nothing wrong with my phone. It's easy. <laughs> Hello? The worst part is that he got caught. He thought about going to try and turn it off. That would have been the best move, honestly, for this prank, is if you ended the call and made it seem like something was wrong. For real, Doug. I don't know, Mom. It was your Wi-Fi. Don't use that. as. Don't use that. That's a terrible thing. That's like asking Google Gemini, how do I avoid this? How do I avoid this? Huh? Google, uh, Gemini, how do I avoid a phone call with my mom? Jim and I'd be like, you're right. Avoiding your your parents and responsibility is very good. Put them in the home. Okay. No. <laughs> that, that, that's how I would handle the situation. Is I would ask Gemini what to do. I would, for all of these scenarios, I would ask AI what to do. This has been a very, very tragic moment. We just witnessed a mom lose all faith in her son and get him taken out of the wheel in real time. Bro's not getting anything. It's going to all of his sisters. Uh, that's that's the moral of this Today's tragic story. Designed to suit you. All right, last gash dang video. Oh my goodness, chat. If you have a good time, hit subscribe and the like button for more gash thing videos and uh, hit the notif five notifications and yeah cballsfam.com for discord link at rules let's get into this last video does this kid have tattoos did this mom Get her son a lot of tattoos? Uh, what? Holy cow. I would I would not allow that to happen. Alright. Four years ago. Is she trying to hurt him? It's not even a... <laughs> Torture. That's her. That's her. <laughs> Somebody she loves. Why would you do that? What the 
is going on? She's pissed. What's in there? <laughs> Was it she put ice down her back? That would be hilarious. Uh, well, I completely didn't understand. That looks like a completely different person. All right, whatever. If it's a full-grown adult, <laughs> they can't have their mom. <laughs> whatever, dude. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, let's just redo that intro. All right. <laughs> uh, you know what? This prank is fucking ten out of ten. Uh, torturing your significant other is another way of showing affection. I learned that from Diddy. Uh, that's exactly how you should conduct yourself if you want to go to jail. Uh, they said they did this four years ago, which means it's a repeated sign of abuse, which means that person should seek answers from Google Gemini about how to react to that situation. <laughs> That's what I would do in this scenario if I was getting pranked like this. The setup for this was just kind of not genuine. There's like, obviously there's resistance here, and let's see what happens when the resistance occurs. She's like, nope, just force it through. It was already in there. We're just gonna keep shoving. Now you have no choice. All right. See, see the cut there is there was obviously something not wanted. So <laughs> uh, it was not as good as the the prank where they uh, were replaced by a mannequin because this doesn't prey on any any other thing than just like domination over the situation, which is pretty lame. A prank. Okay. The execution of the prank, I'm going to rate that 3 out of 10 because I didn't like how forced it was. So, thank you so much for joining me for these pranks. If you like what you've seen, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next Gash Thing video. Yo! Oh, you check these and TV addicts. Don't mean to dance, don't mean to break static. Oh, you cling on to your grandma's house. Grab your back street friend and get loud. Blowing doors off hinges. Grab me with the pinches. And no, I didn't retire.